pedophile, faggot, stay away from my children. Hey friends, I'm the super brave teacher and words do hurt. And those are the words I've been hearing a lot lately on this channel. Hey friends, I'm Joe Karlovsky, the super brave teacher, and part of being super and brave and what I teach our super brave kids all the time in the classroom is that to be brave, you also have to be vulnerable. You have to share your full self so that other people can be vulnerable with you. I've learned again and again that the more vulnerable I am, the more vulnerable you are. So I'm gonna be vulnerable and say that this past week has been hard. It's been hard reading, reading like basically polar opposite comments. I have comments all day long of, thank you, Joel, this is awesome, keep going, you're awesome, thanks for teaching our kids, you're doing a great job. And I have the other side of the spectrum, which is stay away from kids, you're a pedophile, you're a faggot, same-sex marriage is wrong, all these things. And it's been hard. I usually post screenshots of all these things, and I do take screenshots so that I remember what I'm fighting for and what I'm advocating for, which is sparking bravery and giving a platform to all LGBTQ teachers and students and tipping Google and YouTube in a radically positive and accepting way. But I also know that these are real people who I am not here to bash. The people who are bashing me, I am not here to bash. Because I also know that in so many things, I am an ignorant man. I am ignorant of so many topics in this world, and I'm learning more and more every day. Even this is yesterday I was at the library, and I was getting more books on queer history, on LGBT history, because I want to learn the stories of those who have come before me so that I can understand my story better. So I, even with LGBT issues, am very ignorant, and I'm learning more. So I can only assume or think that these people as well are ignorant on this topic and that is part of the reason why this channel exists, to inform people. So I'm not here to post and give you names and go find these people and tell them what's up. No, I am here to share what I've been hearing and to share with you how I've been responding. So I'm gonna share what I've been hearing first. So this is what I've heard this past week. Faggot. Excuse me if it comes off as ignorant, but why is it important to tell people that you are gay? A man and a woman? Great. Two men together? You should not be teaching children. You should not be teaching children how to be gay. You should teach children about diseases. Because that's just wrong. Pedophile. They keep going. Why can't he just be a teacher? Maybe it's the fact that this video is geared towards children and he should put on some clothes. How super and brave of you. Maybe it would be super and brave if you stayed far away from my children. I'm just gonna stop. There's a lot more. There's a lot more. This is when I just wanna like, go in my little shell and not come out of my shell. And I remember why I was in the closet in the first place and why when I try to explain to people that people say these things and act like this, all the time people would say, oh Joel, they don't say that. They don't say faggot anymore. They don't say pedophile anymore. They don't think that because you're gay you have a disease. They don't think those things. They don't look at, they see how great of a teacher you are. They don't want you to, no, it happens. It happens all the time. And the way I respond to it it's just to tell them that I hear them. In the case of the pedophile, I said, the pedophile comment, I said, 
what I teach students is to say, I forgive you, but that's not okay, so please stop. And I also just say thanks for reminding me why I have this channel. Because clearly, we need to continue to get the word out that LGBTQ plus people are awesome. I am awesome. I am worthy of having a voice. I said it again and again, I am not the voice. I'm not the only voice. I'm not at all the most important voice. But my voice is important. And LGBTQ plus people, their voices are important. And what we do is important. And it's harder for me, not these hurtful comments, it's harder for me when people also respond and say, this is why I'm not out at work. This is why I'm a teacher, but I don't tell students that I'm gay. This is why I don't tell people at work that I'm trans. This is why I don't share that I'm a lesbian. This is where I, I think it's impossible to say that I'm a bisexual person. I ache, I ache so much for them because I know the ache that I feel daily. An ache that few people get because, well, no one gets because no one fully can understand my story. But I can say and share that it's hard, and it's really hard being me. And it's especially hard having this juxtaposition of super awesome comments and super hurtful comments. Really, really hurtful comments meant to say, Joel, go back in your show, we don't wanna see you. I call it grace. You can call it serendipity, whatever you wanna call it, but something in me, and I've always had this, has whispered, louder and stronger. And it's always said, Joel, keep going. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't give up. Keep fighting. Keep sparking bravery. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep going. And I'm gonna keep fighting for all people, including the people who left those comments. I'm gonna keep sparking bravery. And I'm gonna keep being me. And I keep wearing this tank top for these hard videos, but it says no one else can play your part. And no one else can be me. So I'm gonna be me, and I'm gonna do the best damn good job at being me. And I encourage you to do the same. Maybe you don't get comments like this. Maybe you get worse comments. Maybe they're implicit. Maybe they're not spoken out loud. Whatever you see, feel, or know, know that your truth is valid but also who you are is valid and it's worthy of being shared in whatever platform. If you don't want to get on the YouTube channel, great. So thanks for listening to this video. Thanks for being who you are. Like this video, share this video, keep getting the word out that these things are happening and they need to stop. Like, like we teach our students every day. When someone hurts you, you don't say, oh, that's okay. You say, I forgive you but that's not okay, so please stop. And I ask whoever is writing these comments, please stop, it hurts. Not just me, but all these people watching these videos who are getting inspiration, who come here for inspiration, it's hurting them too, so please stop. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being who you are. You are enough, you are awesome, and you are brave because you are vulnerable. You are awesome. Thanks for being who you are. I just keep going on and on. I love you guys.